guys uh, thank you for coming back yeah today we're gonna set up the redux for our application so i want to talk about why we really need the redux in our app in the first place uh, uh, in traditional way of um, a request and response so we just uh, do some request from the client to the server so we need this one so by using this api and then the server get the request and then take care of the things that the server needs so server can get some data from the like database if needed and then if it don't taking care of that one yeah the server needs to send the response back to front end and after getting the response back from the server the front end read the display the data into the browser and this is a normal way of taking care of the request and response but in the middle of the um, this part we put the redux in here and then uh, we don't just uh, directly to send the response to the prompt uh, we will just put some response in the redux store and then in redox stores when we need we just uh, push some data in the front so now we talked about why we need redox in our application so i think it's time to know how to install the redox in our application so first we go to our yeah, text editor now first we need to go to the client and index.js in here yeah, we need to pull all the redux source in here and first thing we need to do is we need to install the amp oh, like dependencies for redux so we need to download redux redux and redux promise and we also need to download redux fun uh, make the terminal larger and in here I'm gonna type npm install. Uh, first, I need to uh, change the directory into the client. So, cd client, and in here, so npm install redux and redux plurimis and redux thunk and we need to say save and we need to delete that one and click and we are done downloading dependency for the redux so if we go to package.json we can see the redux and redux promise and redux thumb so now we are ready to code write the code for redux uh, first we need to configure all the things in here first uh, because the redux is a third part library so we need to connect the redux uh, with the react so first we need to import a provider this provider will actually connect the redux with react so from uh, react redux ah i'm sorry <laughs> we didn't download this dependency i'm sorry about it so npm install uh, react redux redux and this just save i'm sorry about it Okay, and now we are done downloading for React Redux, and then we also need to import uh, create store yeah. apply middle where this is the from Redux, and then we also need to import. Promise 
we do option but this doesn't have to have the parentheses for miss me do where from redux promise and then we also need to import the from the redux found redux found from redux found and now we need to wrap our react app with the provide provider like this and we need to make the store and we will put something in here so we will make a variable for that so const create store and with do where and apply and we use this one right here apply we do where download to middleware promise middleware and redux song and we use one more parenthesis and we put this create a store like this and then in here we can put this one create store with middleware put it and then inside of this one uh, we need to put reducer folder so maybe you can understand what is going on now in here it will be really confusing like I heard uh, many people complain about the Redux because the bullet play for Redux is so confusing and complex but I really understand why people say like that but after you use it for a while you can actually get a hang of it so just please bear with the bad and confusing feeling you have now but after that you would think Redux is really great tools to use so please bear with that um, yeah, we need to I make the reducer further and in here we will just make the index.js and we also need to have we need to have the actions further so we will use this actions further and reducers further for the redux so and uh, if I just uh, explain for place the in reducer further we will put all of the at first uh, we will do something in action folder and the data uh, like if we see here again like if we request something so this in here uh, a request, this request uh, uh, first to go to the action further in here and uh, in action further uh, we'll request something to server and then server will send the data into the action further again and then in action further uh, we'll just uh, send something to the reducer further like in reducer further and in reducer further uh, we store all the data in reducer further and then if there is the data we want to display in the browser we just uh, dispatch the data from the reducer further to the browser oh uh, it'd be very confusing i'm sorry but just if i say again yeah we request something into the action further and we do something again from the action further to the server 
and then after doing something in the server we will push some information in the um, action folder and then in action folder it send the data again into the um, reducer further and in the reducer further many things are stored in the reducer further and then we will just uh, send the data we want to display in the browser into the front end so please bear with the feeling you have now right now so um, we need to import the um, reducer from reducer so we put this one reducer and there is a one more thing we need to type in here uh, this is for the this redux step tool so if we come in here redux step tool extension so we can easily see the bridge uh, data is stored in the reader so it's a really nice good dev tool so first if you use the chrome you can go inside the chrome web store if you use the firefox but i think mostly use the chrome so go here and then download it and then one more thing we need to do is that we need to copy this one like the basic store a window read a step to extension and window read a step to extension and copy it and then we can paste that one in here so now we can save it so we are almost done the setting up the reader so there but there are a little more things we need to do so the first we go to our uh, reducers and index.js so in here we need to import combine reducers from Redux. So in in index.js inside the reducers folders, that we will combine all of the reducers folders. So in here, so if we make like user.js and, and there we will also like chat.js. So we want to combine these two. Uh, in here so like import the user file in here user user uh, but actually need to change the name in here not just the chat.js it would be better to have the uh, chat the reducer hmm. it's a better name for the reducer file so it will also have the user the reducer oh, thank you for that um, so we can also import chat from chat chat reducer so we will combine it by using root Reduce, reducer, come, um, we will use this, um, it's the method and we will put the object in there, so the one thing, here and this one, and then we need to export this one default and root reducer and this is all we need to do in index.js and if we go to user reducer and in here we need to write this one function uh, state and action and switch action that type type and case
then if we can find any type any same type here it will just be default return stay oh, stay this one so yeah it's done first setting of reducers then if we go to action further So need the uh, user actions that he has because we have uh, user reducers and we also need uh, types that he has. So I think I think it's a good timing for us to wrap up our rapture in here. So I know it will be really it, it is really confusing. Maybe you think, I don't know what I'm doing right now in here. Uh, I bet you really don't know what is going on right now and you are so confused. I bet. Uh, but please just uh, keep following me. Maybe you will really understand what is going on right now. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'm going to keep uploading this video soon. Um, have a nice day. Bye bye.